वेलकम टू पावर प्लेटफॉर्म ए आई बिल्डर सीरीज फॉर फॉर्म प्रोसेसिंग यू आर वॉचिंग द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज माई सेल्फ ध्रुविन शाह ड्यूरिंग दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ पावर एप्स बेस्ड ऑन द फॉर्म प्रोसेसर ए आई मॉडल विच वी हैव डेवलप्ड इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशंस इफ यू हैव एंड गेट अ चांस टू व्यू माई ए आई बिल्डर फॉर्म प्रोसेसर सेशन Please refer those videos. Links are available in the description box. Now, at the last session, we have trained and published our model. Now, we want to use our model, use this model to the Power Apps. So you can click on this use model and create a new app. But I don't want to use this option to build my Power Apps. I will create from scratch. So for that, go to the app section and Click on New Power Apps Canvas app. Now, click on the tablet layout from here. Select the blank app and select tablet layout. This will create a from scratch Power Apps to here. Now, first we need to add the form processor control. For that, go to the Insert menu from AI Builder. Select the form processor from here. This will add this form processor component over here. Now, from here, we need to select our model. So, we developed this model. So, we will select AI April Dev Rent model over here. So, once you select this model, it will look like this. Let's just place it to our screen. Now, once this AI model will detect my field, I want to open up my SharePoint form, which will store the information to the SharePoint list. Let me first quickly show you the list structure, which I have developed over here. So at this moment, let me just remove all of these fields from here. So this is my list structure. Let me show you the list schema. So you can see that these are the all the fields which are available in the PDF document. I added all of those fields over here. So this is my list schema and you can see that for number of person uh, and for the date field I took the date and time data type and for the numeric value I just took here the single line of text at this moment right now uh, let me go to the power apps and let me connect my SharePoint list with this power apps so just go to the view menu go to the data source option go to the connectors and select the SharePoint connector from here just sign in with your account so I'm logging with my account and now from here it is showing all the uh, sites over here so my site is for rent site that I developed so it's power apps AI Dhruvinsha that is my site so let me just select that site from here and now let me choose my list over here I'm selecting rent receipt from here so my list would be connected here now once our list has been connected let's create a SharePoint form for that let's do one thing go to the insert menu go to the forms and click on the edit form from here so this will add one form component over here but now let's do one thing let's provide the data source I'm providing rent receipt as data source over here all right so it added all the fields over here now what I need to do here is I want to initialize this new form so let me just add a button here on the top let me just change the text as store the values now let me do one more thing on select I just want to initialize my form so let's add a new form and under that just provide your form ID that is form 1 
all right my form has been initialized all right now we need to do one more thing let's say for an example once this is these are all my data cards right so if i select this title section this title means that my owner name all right so let me just change this text over here instead of this title i want to show name all right now under this data card i want to pre populate the value so in the default property we just need to add form processor form processor 1 dot form content dot fields dot which field we want to show here we want to show the name over here so we will select name from here all right so once it will detect it will auto populate over here we need to perform the same thing for other fields as well now let me show you one quick short shortcut over here so uh, in advance every time you need to unlock your card now so i set this fields to all of my fields now i don't want this attachment control i am removing this from here right so my form will look like this neat clean and clear now let me just save my power apps entered the wrong spelling all right now let's test our app so once you click on that it will not show this form to you because it's not been initialized let me just upload my file so i'm uploading one of the file over here so it will process your document now once you do that on hover you can see that analyze analysis performed nine fields detected this field name is showing over here all right now just click on the store values so you can see that all the pre populated values are appear in this particular form now the thing that i want to show here like how can you define which is the value so let's say just click on this thing that you added now once you hover on form processor dot form uh, content it is showing you the record now if you select this thing you can see the entire table structure like this so by that way you can identify which were the field that you need to add in your text box or your data card value all right so this is the entire structure which was detected from the form all right now if you if you wish to open the same thing from your uh, let's say uh, from your mobile phone it will also provide you to for the scan documents so you can uh, utilize that feature as well now let's just store this fields to my sharepoint list for that let me just add one additional button so go to the insert menu add the button and just add as submit and on select just type submit form with the id of form 1 all right now uh, let me do one more thing here let's say uh, i want like once the form is saved uh, it should reset my form and uh, reset this page as well 
so for that what i need to do is this save form button with the save will open once i click on store values until and unless it should not be up here for that i need to perform one additional step over here let me just select this form and let me just select this button too and let me add that value to the group so it is added a over group form and button now uh, i need to do one more thing on form success i want to show and uh, i want to notify the user so on success let me just notify my end user the type i need to select here is notification type dot success just hit and enter so that is the on success event now now i want to show this entire group on the visibility of once we click on this form so let me just maintain one variable here update context and now on the visible of this group set the visible property let's show at form and let's select button on this button click once the form has been submitted we need to do one thing with the form submission we need to reset the form we need to update the variable as well update context show form false all right by that way the form would be hid all right now let's test this thing again over here let me just upload one more file over here let's say let me add this file it is performing this analysis of the form form has been uploaded successfully now just click on the store value pre-populated values are being showing now just just click on this submit button so you can see that form has been submitted successfully and the form is also be in hidden form now let's just check the list data let me go to the rent receipt and you can see that the entry has been added successfully just now all the fields has been saved properly over here now at the end let's publish our power apps hit a publish it has been published successfully go to the power apps and you can direct directly run this application from and analyze your documents so hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com only if you need any consultancy help you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467 if you are for the first time to my channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp also if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link this will redirect you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye